Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. As you know, the Honda, all this here right here, that mini van that we are building, you know, we got this one from Copart with a very minor uh, front end damage to the bumper and the fender, which we fixed. Uh, you can see, let me show you where the damage was and what it looks like now, but today we will be restoring the headlights guys. Okay, it's all fixed now. You can see we restored that headlight, okay? And that's what we started with. You can see how nasty that thing is. Super, super bad. Okay, check it out how burned the plastic is. Okay, and what we're going to do, guys, we'll show you how to make them new. So what we're using now, uh, masking tape, just, you know, get some painting tape and tape all the way around the headlight. Okay, I, I wanna show you the end result. That's what we're striving for. Let's see if we will be able to fix this one and make it look like this one now. We're still waiting on the grill. We ordered one online, so it should be it should be here any any minute. Okay, so we're almost ready then. What we need to do, we need to get some water and sandpaper, guys. Stay with us to see what exactly we need to use and what it needs to be done to turn that thing like brand new. It's important not to use clear coat. People do that and sometimes you melt the plastic and it's your headlight, do whatever you want to. But what we do now, uh, if you apply UV sealant every six, six months, the headlight will stay like new for as long as you want it to. So 1200 cent paper now. Okay, we dip it in water. We'll have links on our website, mechanicwifestyle.com, guys. It's in the description how to how to do that, where to get the products from. Okay, and check it out. Okay, that nasty stuff right here, that yellowish stuff. We need that gone. What we're striving for, we uh, we need uh, clear clear foam, white foam, not yellowish. You can see this is definitely yellowish. Okay, check it out on the bumper and when it drops down there, what it looks like. So we are going to sand like that for two to three minutes. Okay, you need to make sure you cover the whole headline. Okay, just like that. And this one is bad. I don't think they've ever been, they've ever been polished in the past, restored. Okay, it started getting, it's starting to get a little bit clear, but still, still yellowish coming from it. So we'll send a little bit more. Okay, you can see now it turned white. So that's what we want. White, white foam, not yellowish foam. Okay, the headlight is not good at all yet. Okay, you see it's still dull, especially if you dry. We need to get 2,000 sandpaper now. The same, the same procedure, dip it in water. Okay, and what's important is to go back and forth. Do not go in circles. Okay, back and forth. What happens? It will be really easy for the machine to polish that later. Because if you go in circles, it will not buff out as good. At least not as easy. And that 2,000 sandpaper we will reduce the scratches from 1200, which means that it will polish in less time, less effort, and it will look better too, it will polish better. Okay, so that's good. We're going to rinse it now. Okay, the whole headlight, make sure you don't have anything left. Okay, and we'll remove the tape. We are ready with that thing. So what we're going to do, We'll use these compounds right here. Number one, number two by 3M. This is a perfect it. Okay, perfect it series. Rubbing compound and machine polish right here. So links will be on our website, guys. You can check those things out. Something like that, not to say a big word, you can probably polish over 200 headlights. So uh, they sm sell them in smaller quantities too. But if you want to polish your car, this thing uh, works, works really good, believe me. Uh, we just uh, we had some orange peel here, so uh, we actually fixed that and you can see with the same compounds No orange peel at all Okay, since we are done with it check it out crystal clear finish on the paint 
Oh yeah, so we'll pull the tape. We need to we need to dry the whole headlight now. Everything needs to be really dry before we proceed to the next step. You see it will get really dull now. Not shiny at all once you dry. But just stay with us to see how shiny that thing will turn out. You can use just a foam pad, but uh, we have a, this is a by 3M. Uh, it's a rubbing compound pad and uh, we'll just use this one because we have it, but we've done many with just a single foam pad. You don't need to switch them, but it's recommended to do it. It will, it will buff out easier. Otherwise you might have to uh, put compound twice. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll just get a small amount and cover the whole headlight now. Okay, a thin layer on the whole headlight. Okay, like that. Okay guys, that's what it looks like after the first compound. Stay with us, it will get even better. We're going to install, okay, the second part now. Just a regular, regular uh, foam part. Okay, right here. So, number two, machine polish. Again, thin layer, we're going to go once. Depending how bad the headlight is, you get the feeling of it, you might need to go twice, but if you do the sanding right, one should be enough. Okay, the same thing. So, all we're going to do now, just polish this one as well. Oh right, guys, check it out. This is the finished result. Crystal clear headlight. Okay, you can see inside. We don't have any scratches or anything like that. Amazing. That's how we do it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Let's grow the channel together and see you guys next time.